If you clicked on this video, then you obviously want to know what the best kept secret for saving money is. Well, I'm going to tell you. Lean in. It's sinking funds. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. And in today's video, we're going to be diving deep into sinking funds and be sure to watch till the end because I'll be showing you the true power of sinking funds. Now, I know you may be asking yourself, what are sinking funds? Whatever it is, I don't want it. It sounds scary to me. Well, simply put, a sinking fund is money that is regularly set aside for a specific purchase or expense which means you'll be able to save a little bit of money each month until you reach your goal amount for your purchase or expense, instead of having to come up with the total amount at once, which can be very stressful. Sinking funds protect your budget when expected expenses come up, and they will help you avoid going into debt and put you much further along in your wealth building journey. Now, why are they called sinking funds? I have no clue, and to me, it sounds very negative. So I like to call them peace funds because they give me peace of mind. So how do you start a sinking fund? Well, it's actually very simple. First, you need to decide what purchase or expense you want to save up for. Now, let's say you want to save up for a weekend getaway. The next thing you would do is decide how much money you need to have set aside for that purchase or expense. So with the example of a weekend getaway, say you want to save $250. Next, you will decide how much time you have in between now and when you want to go on that weekend getaway. So let's say it'll be five months before you go on your weekend getaway. So you would divide $250 by five months and that will give you $50. So you will need to save $50 every single month to have $250 saved up by the time you wanna go on your weekend getaway. And voila, you have a sinking fund. I call sinking funds the best kept secret for saving money because most people have never heard of the concept of sinking funds. I know that I had never heard of it before I started getting my money in order. And now I love sinking funds because it is money that is meant to be spent. And that makes me very happy because I am the spender in my family. And since the money is already set aside for that specific purchase, I don't feel guilty about spending it. And it's nice knowing that if something comes up like a baby shower, I already have money set aside so that it won't affect my monthly budget or I don't have to use a credit card. It's so empowering and it makes me feel like I'm actually adulting. So what are some examples of expenses that need sinking funds? Home repairs, landscaping, car repair or a new car purchase, property or income taxes, home or car insurance, vacations, holidays, birthdays, large purchases like furniture, yearly subscriptions like to Amazon Prime, trips to Sam's or Costco, or medical expenses, and many more. Keep in mind that some sinking funds are very specific and time sensitive, like the weekend getaway. So you would not want to touch that money until the weekend getaway. It's very fixed but other sinking funds are more general and are not time sensitive, such as like a house maintenance sinking fund. So that is a fund that you will regularly take money out of and put money back into. It is very fluid. If this video has been helpful to you so far, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Now, as promised, I want to show you the true power of sinking funds. So let's look at another example. So let's say you have an extra $500 at the end of each month that you would like to put towards five different sinking funds. You decide every month you want to put $250 to a new to you car fund, $75 to a new iPhone, $50 to house maintenance, $25 to a pet fund, and $100 to birthdays and holidays fund. Now watch the power of sinking funds. In 12 months, you would have $3,000 in your new to you car fund, $900 in your new iPhone fund, $600 in your house maintenance fund, $300 in your pet fund, and $1,200 in your birthday and holiday fund. Isn't that crazy? Most people think that they cannot save this type of money, but if you break it into small chunks, you will be amazed at the progress you can make. 
In an effort to not make this video too long, I have made a part two of this video because we are nowhere near being done talking about sinking funds. In part two, I will answer the most burning questions you may have about sinking funds, and I will share with you the three requirements you must have in order to start building a sinking fund. You do not want to miss it. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Bye for now.